trouble in turn four. Major incident in turn ah. four. Seven, eight cars collected. Hot Strickland is in it. Kyle Petty involved. Robert Presley was involved in it. Harry Dent is involved in it. First caution of the day is coming at lap number 62, just as they came across for 63. That is the first for a major accident. We had one other caution, just for a little bit of debris on the track. First major incident of the day. There's Kyle Petty. Front end, looks like it found a telephone pole on car number 42. Bobby Hillen is involved in it. Remember last year, he and Kyle Petty? There's John Andretti's car, number 14, crunched against the wall hard. Jeff Burton's car was involved as well. We've got another car crawling back in, and that's the Bobby Allison car. We were just talking with Bobby. Whole right side of his car is stripped. Big marks down up. There's Robert Presley's Mannheim, number 54. And Rusty Wallace is up against the wall. His car is demolished up there. Bad luck for the second year in a row for Rusty Wallace, who made that impassioned speech to the drivers before this one started. The driver's side, we hope he's all right. Average speed for the race was around 172 miles an hour. They were turning individual laps. Here's Rusty getting out. Yeah. Wallace is all right. Yeah. The flaps are still up. You see him on the back of the car. He's all right after a wild skirmish up here in the fourth corner. Just coming down by, you can see the nose of that car, number two, has been bloodied. The fluid's leak, leaking out. Number 90, Bobby Hillen going by. He escaped that. We'll give you a complete rundown on the cars involved in a moment. John Andretti slapped it hard against the wall. Concern for John here. I mentioned that Bobby Hillen was involved. He's still going around the track. He has a good bit of damage on, on his car. Pit Road is closed right now, Kim, because of the problems here on the entrance to Pit Road. Let's go to the pits and David Hawks. Well, I'm still in Bobby Allison's pit, and what a sad day for them. As he said, it's sad, and this is sad too. The car badly damaged both sides, all four wheels. As you can see, tires exploded there. Mechanic feverishly working away to pull the bodywork up the tires. They'll put four tires on. They'll go around and do another quick lap uh, under the caution, then come back in and do some more work. This car needs a lot of work doing to it, and that will certainly not get a job in. The jump round goes out. And he'll be back again in just a few seconds when he's done one lap. Look at that tire, completely torn up. He must have spun this car around a couple of times. Chuck Brown spun in a 125. There you see Robert Presley. will take over for Harry Gann in the year. Great Grand National driver for some years and a guy that's come out of a racing family. Bob Presley's dad, great driver. Now the pits are open. Uh, no, pits are still closed, Kim. They're coming down pit road, but they can't stop and but make they a can't pit stop. stop. They put the field down onto pit road, but they are not allowing them to stop. Pit itself are closed, but they're using that so they can get around some of the debris out here on the track. 